In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a VOR. It might seem confusing at first, especially for new IFR pilots, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible by showing you some examples in the actual aircraft. I'll give you some tips that I learned over the past 15 years of flying IFR, so let's go. I'm Evan, and I've been flying airplanes since I was 14 years old. Being a commercial pilot in the Rocky Mountains is incredible and has led me on some very wild adventures. My mission? To share with you my love for aviation, the outdoors, and all the things I've learned along the way in hopes of inspiring the next generation of adventurers and adventure-seeking pilots. If you're new to the channel, then cheers, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, welcome aboard. Good afternoon everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a VOR. I recently made a YouTube short on this and everybody seemed to love it, so I'm going to keep it super simple. This will obviously be the longer video form, but let's dive right in. So this is our CDI, but first let's tune in a VOR. So we're going to use Peace River VOR here, 117.2, so we've got that in our nav. and. Now, let's say we want to fly to the VOR. So what we want to do is we want to use our CDI and we want to have a two flag. We want to rotate the CDI until we have a two flag and until the um, CDI is centered. And all we have to do now is turn to a heading of 326 degrees and maintain that CDI in the center and that will fly us right to the VOR. Once we cross the VOR, this will switch to a front flag and we'll be flying outbound on the 326 degree radial from the VOR. Now let's say we want to fly outbound or away from the VOR in say this direction. Then all we have to do is turn our CDI until we have a from flag and it is centered. So now if we want to fly away from the VOR, we can uh, turn to a heading of 148 degrees, maintain the CDI in the center, and we'll be flying outbound on the 148 degree radial. If we want to intercept a radial, let's say we want to fly outbound on the 180 degree radial from the VOR. So we have a front flag, and we've selected 180 degrees on our CDI. All we have to do now is maintain this course, a heading of 232 degrees, until this CDI comes in, centers, and then we turn to that heading of 180 degrees, and then we'll be flying outbound on the 180 degree radial from the VOR. So the best way to get good at this is honestly, just practice it. Just practice if you're flying VFR, tune in VORs all over the place and kind of have some fun with it. See if you can locate um, and and accurately figure out you know, where you are using VORs. You can use triangulation, use two VORs at the same time and figure out where you are on the map. And another great tool is, obviously there are lots of VOR simulators out there. You can get on your iPad or your computer, but also Microsoft Flight Simulator. I can't tell you enough how useful that was for me when I was doing my IFR training because it is actually quite accurate to the real world. So it is a good idea to get something like that and just practice flying VORs. Um, nowadays, it's kind of uncommon to be using a VOR, but it is great practice and it is still required to know how to fly them, uh, but that is how you do it. And just to sum all this up, let's just see where we're at here. If we were to go, let's say, on the, oh, here we go. So right now we are crossing over the 162 degree radial outbound. If we want to fly to that VOR, we can just center it again with the two flag and we have to turn to a heading of 343 degrees and fly that track to the VOR. So there you have it, everybody. Um, do you have any other comments or recommendations for maybe other pilots or um, other things that maybe I could uh, learn from? Then I highly recommend put them in the comments down below. But uh, happy and safe flying, everybody, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you, everybody.